Uh, I, I come to these questions politically very much as a liberal. I, you know, I can check virtually every box on the liberal side of any uh, public policy debate. You know, I'm for gay marriage and an end to the war on drugs and uh, higher taxes on the wealthy. And so I, I want a, a, a strong social safety net. Um, I mean, all you know, every liberal concern. Uh, you can name, I tend to, to align with. Uh, the problem, however, is that liberals, for the most part, almost by definition, are people who are not religious fundamentalists. They've, they've lost touch with, or they've never had, uh, a commitment to believing every word in uh, a revealed holy book. And so their doubts in that respect uh, have led them to doubt that anyone actually believes this stuff. And so when people start flying planes into our buildings, um, claiming to believe in paradise, and to believe that the, it's their religious obligation to, to win a, a cosmic war against uh, apostasy and blasphemy and uh, unbelief, uh, liberals doubt that anyone really believes what they say they believe here. They think this is always just a pretext for some more rational concern. That you know, this is all all economics. It's all politics. Um, that people everywhere want the same things, and if, if given the same opportunities, they will seek those things. And that's just not true. It's demonstrably untrue. Uh, you just have to you know, see the case of a single engineer with other opportunities uh, going to fight for ISIS today to know that that's untrue. Um, and yet, um, liberals still promulgate this myth, and 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 with the, the effect that has is that it leaves no one else to call a spade a spade but for our own theocrats and our own xenophobes and our own bigots, right? It, it leaves the actual fascists in Europe, you know, the neo-Nazis and people w with whom you wouldn't want to collaborate in any way honestly talking about the downside of unchecked immigration, right? Maybe just honestly looking at the numbers. If you're going to bring in a hundred thousand Muslims unvetted into your society from a country like Iraq or Syria, well then you are, some percentage of them will be committed to jihad. Even if it's a tiny percentage, there'll be some, right? Whereas if, it, if those were a hundred thousand Christians, there'd be none, right? That's a difference that makes a difference. Now it's not, that's, that in and of itself is not an argument against immigration, uh, but it is an honest statement of statistical reality, right? But it brands you as a Nazi lunatic to say it that, that honestly uh, in uh, Western Europe at the moment. Um, and that's a problem because if, if people are demonized for merely talking about facts when the, the stakes get higher and higher as they, as they uh, tend to with each subsequent act of terrorism, I could well foresee a situation where even well-intended, rational, liberal, secular people would throw in their lot with the, the right-wing demagogues because there's just nobody else doing the job. Um, and that's, if you're going to give people a choice between you know, unchecked, creeping theocracy of a, mu a Muslim sort uh, and a complete... Uh, a completely delusional account of a of the global and uh, jihadist insurgency we see uh, uh, in a hundred countries. Uh, if it's a choice between that and uh, an otherwise offensive right wing demagoguery, uh, many well intentioned people will take the latter. And uh, there's no reason we need to make that choice. You, we could we could have liberals who are honestly talking about the nature of the problem.